Hey guys, it's Keegan and welcome to my first ever YouTube studio tour. So let's go check it out. So here is the YouTube studio setup and this is where I film all of my YouTube videos here. And I've been on YouTube for about three years now and before this was ever a YouTube setup, it was a spare bedroom. So there used to be a bedroom in here, but you know, we took it down and now we have the YouTube setup. So I wanna go around real quick and show you everything that's in the studio. So follow me this way. So here is my unboxing desk. This is where I film all of my Apple content and you'll see a bunch of different Apple products here and there's gonna be a couple coming up very soon. So this light down here is a newer light and one of the great things is that you can control it by an app. So normally I do like different colors on the wall because one of the things that I learned is having a gray wall, you can change like different colors and it'll look like that same color just having a gray color wall, which is pretty cool. So there is the newer light down there. And we also have this plant. I really do enjoy plants. I mean, I know that's it. Here we have a little table here. This is a lamp. I really love like modern setup. So like basically I try to base off the studio with a modern look. So that's why we have this type of lamp here. And here's another plant. You know, I like plants. We also have the HomePod mini. And sometimes before I film a YouTube video, I like to, you know, listen to music, kind of like a talk show, how they would play an intro music and then, you know, do the talk show. That's kind of what I do here. We also have this couch. So like I said before, this was a studio. This was a spare bedroom. So there was a bed here. So we kind of had to come up with an idea to also have a spare bedroom. And so we came up with getting this couch, which turns into like a small twin bed. Normally I like to have like my mom <laughs> sitting here and watch me record my videos because I don't know that helps me sometimes like talking to a camera like i'm actually talking to a person so that helps sometimes to have somebody sitting in here one of the great things is is sometimes i'll edit on this couch sometimes not a lot i like normally sitting in the living room editing videos but here is this cup holder so you can have two different drinks here and I was thinking about getting a TV to you know hang up on the wall, but that might happen in the future. So we also got these two gray pillows to go along. I do also like the color gray because it's like very neutral color. Here's this humongous plant. This one we might actually get rid of because I mean, just look at that. That it's a humongous plant. So on the other side of the studio here is a picture, and this is to represent like Hollywood and Beverly Hills. So in the future, I don't see myself moving to Los Angeles. So a lot of the big tech creators do live in Los Angeles, but except Marquez, he lives in New Jersey. So I could still be a big content creator and be on the East Coast. So this is actually really exciting because every like single Apple box or product that I review, I keep the box. So come this way. So here is where I keep all of the Apple boxes. So. You see, we got some iPhones, a lot of AirPod boxes here, um, Canon, Apple TV, MacBook, all that. And over here's the iMac. I think it's like a 24 inch iMac. I'm really not sure about the size. So in the future, I would like to make a charging station up on the wall here for all my camera batteries and my monitor battery, but we'll get to that in a second. But for right now, I just have it plugged into the wall here. But one day I hope to make a big like setup to charge batteries here. So now I want to go over some of the equipment that I used to film some of my YouTube videos. And let's first start out with talking about cameras. So the company of choice that I use for cameras is Canon. And I have looked into the Sony cameras like the A7S III, but that camera is like 3,000 close to $4,000 once you get a nice 
lens with it like a 16 to 35 that's about 2000 and it's close to 3000 but right now i am using canon and this is like a beginner camera this is a canon m50 mark ii so they do have two different versions i have the second version and with the second version there is better autofocus and i also love canon's color science as well a lot of people say that canon has better color science than sony but i guess it depends on the person as well as what kind of stuff that you're going to be recording so i do shoot in 1080p but this camera does have the ability to shoot in 4k i just don't because it does crop in and you know once it crops in you start to lose autofocus and it don't look that great but i have been looking at a newer camera which is the canon r5 which this camera also competes with the sony a7s3 so yeah i've been looking at the r5 and hopefully maybe one day I'll make the switch to a more professional camera. So in total, I have three different cameras. I have an A cam, which you're seeing now, a B cam up here for a top-down shot, and then I also use this camera sometimes for a C cam. So I'll put it off to the side, just to get another angle that I can use to switch back and forth in editing. And like I said, I do shoot in 1080p, but once I get into the editing stage, I upscale that to 4K. So technically I'm shooting in 1080p, but then I upscale it to 4K and you know, it's a pretty clear image. So I want to show you guys what the top down shot looks like. And I use this for basically every video, except whenever I'm not doing unboxing. So every time that I do an unboxing, I have a top down shot. That way you'll be able to see what product I'm showing. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. So here is the C stand that I use to mount the camera up top here. And then you can see the top down. So let's say if I'm showing off the iPhone right here, I can have the top down shot just like that and that is what you'll see so now let's talk about the different lenses that i use for these cameras let's first start with this one this is a sigma lens and this is a 16 millimeter it's f 1.4 so with this lens you're gonna be able to get really nice bokeh and that's what i like especially for vlogging videos so here's an example of what this lens looks like you see in the background it is blurred and then i'm in focus so it's just a really nice lens to get that bokeh in the background another lens that i use a lot is is this 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens and this comes with the Canon M50 Mark II so if you do purchase this camera you will get the camera and also this kit lens so this lens I use for my a cam which you're seeing now and right now I would say that it's probably zoomed in to about 24 millimeters like in between 24 and 28 that's where I keep it zoomed in for this type of shot another lens that I use is this lens up here and this is a 55 to 250 millimeter and i do not use this lens for the top down shot i just have it up there for right now to you know show you what a lens looks like up there but normally i sometimes use the sigma lens or i use the 15 to 45 to be able to zoom because with this sigma lens it doesn't zoom and it's only a 16 millimeter shot i use the zoom lens more for like an action shot so sometimes i do shoot videos for my high school and that's whenever i would use that zoom lens to be able to to get close-up shots on the football field because I would be standing on the sidelines. So once you have that zoom, it makes it look like you're standing right where the players are. So those are the cameras and lenses that I use to film some of my videos. And now let's talk about microphones. And this is a really important part of filming a YouTube video because you want to have really great audio. So the main microphone that I use is this Rode I don't know the name, but it's one of their professional microphones. I got it boomed up top with a boom arm, and then I keep the microphone really close to my mouth. That way I can get really clear audio. And then I have a cord that runs to the camera, which is my A-cam here, and then it's plugged in. That way, you know, I can have the microphone close to me instead of it being attached onto the camera, which is way over there. Another microphone that I use is this Rode Video Micro. I use this microphone for more of a vlogging style type of video because since this is a small microphone, you can take this different places and it's very compact. So that's the reason why I love it. And plus, you get really clear audio. The next microphone that I want to talk about is this Zoom 
microphone and you've heard this microphone in the beginning of this video because this is a wireless microphone and I use this sometimes whenever I'm going to be walking around a different places especially for the iPhone videos or the review videos this is where I use the microphone because I'm going to be sort of a far distance away from the camera and that's whenever I would use this microphone and then I would have to sync it up in post or in the editing stage whenever I start to edit a video. But I have been looking at the Sennheiser microphones because whenever you press record on your camera, it automatically like syncs up the audio. That way you won't have to do it in the editing stage, which I like because it's not that hard to do it, but I would rather have audio that's already synced up. So those are the three different microphones that I use to shoot some of my videos. And now I wanna talk about another thing that is super important for YouTube videos, which is lighting. So in total, I use four different lights and that's what you're seeing right now. So there is four different lights on. So the main light of choice that I use is the Godox SL60W. And with this light, you're able to control the temperature as well as the percent on how bright the lights want to be. So I got two. So one's on my left and one's on my right and one of them have a bigger softbox compared to the other so if you go on amazon it really depends on which type of light company you buy it from and then that's where you're going to get different soft boxes for these lights i also mentioned this in the beginning of this video that i use a newer light so back here behind me is a newer light and one of the cool things with this light is it's rgb i have an app on my phone that i can use to change for different colors if i want to change the color for a new video so i'm going to connect it and let's change the color so right now it's more like a tealish color let's make it green and here's a blue and pink and here's a red and normally i like to keep this on blue because you know i like the color blue but for some of the main videos i just like to keep it white and that's more of like a simple look especially whenever i pop up text you'll be able to see it a lot better than if there was like a color on the wall the next light that i use is a over the head light so it's right up there on the ceiling and you can't see it in this shot so this is also a newer softbox so this helps light up the top of my head here so it kind of separates me from the background and the background is right there so you can see the light right there so that's the wall and I, I would say that I'm like five feet away from the wall so there is some distance there between me and the wall so that's why I have to use that light to light up the top of my head as well as light up the top of this wall here and it creates a nice little effect so those are the four main lights that I use and now let's talk about tripods because I in total have about four different tripods that i use but the main one i want to talk about is this nice coleman tripod and i did get this for christmas this is what holds my main camera as well as my teleprompter and i really love this tripod because it is like tilt and adjustable so if you turn it side to side or up and down you're going to get a nice smooth shot also on the tripod is a teleprompter and sometimes i would use the teleprompter which right now i'm not using a teleprompter so i do not have a script for this this video so basically i'm going off of the top of my brain i guess that's how you say it i don't know but normally for these types of videos whenever i don't use a teleprompter i do use the notes app and i write down different type of notes to be able to hit in the video that way i don't miss nothing but whenever i do use the teleprompter it's only for talking about tech specs so if i know that i'm talking about a tech product i want to be able to hit all those points that way i don't miss it so since the camera is behind a teleprompter a prompter I cannot see myself because with the Canon M50 Mark II there is a flip out screen to be able to see yourself but since the camera is behind a teleprompter I cannot see myself so to fix that I use a monitor from best view and this helps me to see myself whenever I'm shooting YouTube videos like right now I'm looking at myself but then now I'm looking at you so it basically helps me to make sure that I stay in focus as well if I'm showing a product you know I'll be able to see what I'm looking at so that is all the gear that I use and I really do enjoy watching these videos to get inspiration from other content creators here on YouTube and if you have a YouTube studio be sure to let me know down in the comments because I really do enjoy watching these types of videos and getting to see other people's setups and the equipment that they use so let me know down below and if you enjoyed this video be sure to subscribe hit the thumbs up and I will catch you guys in the next video bye guys